Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Daddy Views back with another video and today we're taking a look at some of the best lock screen widgets that you can get for your iOS 17 device. Now, fun fact regarding lock screen widgets on iOS 17 is that these widgets are actually interactive. Just like the widgets on the home screen, you can interact with widgets on the lock screen as well, which of course makes them way more useful. Now let's get things started with iScreen. Now iScreen offers a ton of different widgets that you can use for your lock screen. You can see we have a few here. We have this like dashboard, which will show your battery, your iOS version, and of course your connections as well. You will have dynamic widgets like this one right here that moves on the lock screen, or you can just add any picture you want just like that to the lock screen of your device. Now all this of course can be done from the app. You go into the app and you will have a ton of different widgets here to select from. Once you have selected the widgets that you want to use, then of course you can add them on the lock screen simply by adding a widget from this app. And then what you will need to do is simply tap on the widget to actually select which widget you want to add there. So you will have a list here of all the saved widgets and you can just select any one you want from this app. Next up is Flighty. Now Flighty is an app that allows to track any flight you want. And it has lock screen widgets, which will show you the current flight that you're tracking. So you will have the bigger one and the smaller one as well. Now the smaller one will just show you the arrival time, while it will have of course way more details, the flight number and the gate and the time as well on the bigger one, which is of course way more useful. So anytime you want to track a flight, you can have it right on your lock screen using this app. The next one is power to you and this is by far my favorite battery widget for the lock screen it offers you a ton of different widgets but also the ability to have multiple devices in one widget like this one right here where i can have my iphone my apple watch and my airpods as well all of them in one widget so you can see right here we have the widgets you can add of course a smaller and bigger ones and when you go to one of them by simply tapping on it it will show you the list of all the devices that you have and you can just select any device you want and of course place it all right there on that widget next up is social stats if you want to see your followers on your lock screen you will be able to do it with this app now the app is free to download and it has a few like different social medias that it has for free that you can use the widgets for free but for other ones like youtube or instagram you will have to actually pay and you can see right here we have a bigger one which will show you your username and of course the number of followers and the icon of the social media while it will also have smaller ones which don't show the username they just show the number of followers that you have and of course a little icon there to know for which social media you have posted that widget world clock is up next now when you compare this to the stock clock app of ios this is way better you can have a ton of different times on the lock screen of your device you can see we have here a bigger one with just the local time but then we have here another bigger one that has four different cities on one widget so you can just pick any city you want of course you set them on the app within the app you pick the cities and then on the widget here all you have to do is of course just add the widget and you will have the cities that you basically have added to the app now if we go right here to the widgets let's just take a look at them you will see that this app actually offers a ton of different widgets and a ton of different styles of clock that you can add to your lock screen so you can see we have the classic one we have the ultra compact here with a, a bunch of different cities we have the analog one you will have this one that i had right there with four different cities and you will have the bigger one of course for the local time next up is quick now quick is an app that offers a ton of different widgets for the lock screen and the home screen and it's pretty cool it has a ton of different styles of widgets that you can pick from and you will have to save them in the app once you have them saved in the app you can add them to your lock screen you can see we have a dashboard right here with the current free storage we have the volume there and then we have also the battery and then we have one here with our connections wi-fi bluetooth cellular data and all that and we have the battery the storage the volume the brightness and the time as well now the way this works once you go into the app you will need to go right here to screen right here at the screen and you will be able to tap on add widget and you can see a ton of different widgets here you can add an application which you can launch you will have here quick starts and then you will be able to add all those dashboards and all those stuff and you will have inline widgets as well now the cool thing about the app is that 
some widgets are free, some are not, but you can just watch an ad within the app and it will even unlock the widgets that are locked. Next up is TeleCounter, and this is where you can see the interactive widgets of iOS 17 in work. So you can see we have a TeleCounter right there, we have item one, and we can just go ahead and change it right here so we can add or we can remove numbers here. So tap the plus or the minus button and it actually works. So I just accidentally opened the app. So as you can see, it works as it should. Now right here we'll have this bigger one and then we'll have the smaller one which will show your most recent tally count, of course, right there with a the number. And then you can also start a new one simply by tapping there. Next up is Tick Tick, an app that allows to add reminders and things that you have to do, to-do lists and things like that. And this is also interactive. So you can see right here, we have the widgets. We can start a new one right there. It shows us how many we have completed right there. And then we have the bigger one here with all the tasks that we have set up for today. Now what we can do here, if we just finish something, tap right there, you can check it. And as you can see, just like that, you will have this widget, which is actually interactable and it actually works as it should. And you can see in a couple of seconds, it will even remove that item from the list, which is really awesome. Next up is CPU Max. Now with CPU Max, you will be able to have the stats of your device right on the lock screen. You will have things right here, like the data that you have used with your device, you will have the cellular and also the Wi-Fi data right there. You can have these progress bars, which looks pretty cool. You will have the year right there, the month, and you will have right there the week as well, which is really, really awesome. Now it has a ton of different widgets you can actually add to your lock screen. So let's just try something out here. Let's see how many different widgets we can add with this app. So here we have CPU Max. You can see we have the traffic here, traffic statistics. We have information right here, like different blocks with information. You will have your step count, time progress, time progress, the one that we saw right there. You will have the bigger and the smaller ones, which are actually pretty cool and very informative. Next up, we have another similar app to CPU Max. This one is called Device Monitor. It will basically show you different informations regarding your device. Now, what we have right here is the RAM memory and the storage of the device. So at any time, you can view how much free storage you have on your device and, of course, how much free RAM memory you actually have on your iPhone currently. Now, of course, it offers other widgets as well. So let's just take a look at them here real quick. So here we have device monitor. You can see that we have the RAM, you will have the smaller and the bigger ones, the storage, and then you will have your CPU usage as well. Again, all of these offer the smaller and the bigger widget as well. Next, we're moving to Google. Here we have Google Chrome, an app that a lot of iOS users actually use, and it offers four different widgets. Google Chrome has only four. All of them are the smaller ones. We can start a quick search right here we can start, start a private tab right here. Then the other one will allow you to do a voice search and then you will have the dino game as well, which of course you can start directly from the lock screen of your device. Next up, we have Gmail, an app that a lot of people use and it has two different widgets. This one is really cool. Actually, it will show you how many new messages you have and it shows right there all the stats that you need to know regarding your Gmail. And then we have also the smaller one, all it shows is the number of new unread messages that you currently have on that Gmail account. And last but not least is an app called Blank Widget. Now, what this does is that it allows us to place the widgets on the lock screen at any place you want. So if I add just two small widgets in this case, it will actually place them right in the middle. But here I have a, like a blank widget that I have added from this app and I can just place it in the middle of those two and you can see now how cool the lock screen looks. It looks much, much better this way. Now, to, for this to work, all you have to do is go to add that widget. So let's just try it out here. There we have, it doesn't have a name in this case, but all you have to do is go to circular widget here, add it, and then tap on it, tap on it like this, tap on widget right there, and just choose blank, and you're good to go. Now you can add it, and of course, move it around. And once you place it in the place you want it to be, you can see how cool your lock screen will look. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to download any of these apps, make sure to check out the pinned comment. You will find all the links there. Again, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.